to Nevehodit. De Mene Ladera. Thanks. Hard. Startinal. I honestly can't. I'm probably just offending a lot of you, so I apologize. Nailed it. We got this, Taurus. <laughs> Sorry to anyone who speaks Russian, by the way. I feel like I should make that very clear. Yeah, Mick versus Rafa yesterday was fun to watch, actually. It was inspiring me to play some Anarchy. Guys, we've got a game coming up. Got a game coming up. It's Excuse my hiccup through my eyes there. We've got Inns going versus Cypher. we got Eisen played by Cypher. And Scalebearer played by Inns. And he's got a flipping eye on his back. And you know what, this is the one time I'm going to not go to Cypher first. We're going to go over to his opponent to begin with, because his opponent is Scale. Let's check him out. His Scale is the dopest. The thing is, how is he going to battle pressure? I think Inns may have taken a map off Cypher not too long ago. Like, Inns has been playing pretty well. Oh, the Rockets got to land them. No, he landed the Rocket on himself. He did so much damage. You know, he's got a, a 1, right? Next to his score. We'll just ignore that hyphen. Oh, I didn't see the CK game between Mick and Rafa. I really need to see that one. Anarchy on Corrupted Keep is flipping awesome fun, though. Cypher's still going to be respecting what Inns is capable of. The twos! Oh, he didn't miss, didn't hit the scale bull rush. So, I, I'm very curious. 77% uh, LG. But it's so funny to see 67 shots hit and only 186 damage in total. The amount of bloody damage absorption there is during bull rush is crazy. Well, doesn't that sound just make you want to unzip? And just go to town. It's a light denial, don't worry guys. Nothing special. Little fakey fake. Inns is going to take a bit of time, though. I, I like what Inns is doing, not rushing into anything. He knows he needs to get himself to 100 and 125. And uh, then... And then kind of buy an opportunity. As long as his timings have been keeping up a bit. He kn he's above the Mega Health, so he knows what's going on there. Cypher did not spot him out. Inns still hasn't found that light, so I think that's light spawning now. Yeah, he's just picked it up. So he's over 100 armor. And Inns has got timing on both of the major items. But it's whether or not he can challenge. He's been floating up here the entire time. Zypher's just going to wobble on past. Uh-oh. Oh! What a next level turret placement. Inns got cock blocked to the max. Uh-oh. Inns is in trouble. Oh, one more rocket out. And that was the dream. He has spawned, so this is this is difficult actually for for Cipher. He has pushed off of that. There's the kill. Inns is off of the negatives. He might even get himself the. Uh... Oh my God! The nails. They both get the exchange. A nail versus shotgun fight. They both spawn away from the mega health, but it looks like Inns is going to win that fight to begin with. He's got himself a nail gun, he's got himself shotgun, and LG. <laughs> Just trying to shoulder peek and be safe, but he's actually not hitting anything. So it's basically similar to what the scoreline was before. 
We've got a bull rush, but now, now the game's very, very difficult for Inns. I'm covering that 25 health bubble in case Inns decides to go down, which he's very close to doing so, but Inns decides nothing. He, oh, he, I think he did actually steal it. And boom! 100 health is all it was. Inns is going to get the fresh spawn. Midi, follow up. Oh, he's pinned in the air and he gets the little bull rush after one health. There's the mega. There's the light. He's on his bloody head. He decides not to go through. I think a pummel would have killed him then. So smart decision from Inns to just back off for a second and avoid insanity. Oh my god, and he did have the rail, of course. Cypher. Just being mean. We could have a ball rush again in a second. It's actually a nice little dodging that we've had from ends. The mega's still up as well. Just hanging little bits of splishy splashy. Ends of stack is good. His weaponry needs to be sorted a bit. He's got LG and rockets. I'm not sure if he's got the rail. Oh god, that's a lot of damage. The bull rush just sends him flying. Wow, close range. That rocket actually hurt ends. It just launched Cypher towards him. Oh, there's a chance now. It's going to be up in a moment. Ends not able to land a shot in time. I do like these flares. Even though it's versus Scalebearer and he's not a hard target to hit, it's... It looks flashy. It looks good. Full bull rush, I think, is 125, I want to say. Maybe it's even 150, but I'm pretty sure 125. Like, the values have get, gotten changed so much in the timeline of Quake Champions that I'm, I get confused. Cypher just needs to make sure the pressure is just maintained. He's being active on the map. Doing a bit of damage to Inns here and there. Like that. Oh, and he forces back up the bounce pad. Inns can't bull rush, can't do anything when he's in the air like that. Freebie kill. And Cypher doing nicely. Inns has been playing pretty well of scale lately. Did he try to bull rush there? I'm not sure. Okay, nails will, nails will win. Oh, hitting that rail probably denies the heavy from Cipher. Bull rush, dude! Flipping bull rush into his face. You would have survived the rail then. And he's unfortunately not able to withstand everything that Cypher's throwing at him. Oh, a couple of pixels at the end nicely. Tasty combos now. Cypher's just getting a chance to do whatever the hell he fancies. 1.1k more damage. Turret not going to block the way this time. And Inns actually gets the better of him. Just want to have a look at the axe. 69% rail. Nice. 62% LG. That's a lot of LG here. Ooh, a little hurty verty right there. Go, go, go. Oh, no, he did a ring, a ring, a rosy and just exploded. <laughs> I 
I think that's GG. I, I think, uh, yeah. I'm pretty certain that's just a straight... Let's just crack on with the next map. One minute one. Oh, I got some nice... Original Wild West beef jerky. Mm. You missed when Strength was basically consistently third place. Oh, dude, the days, man. The Zotac era. Strength is. How many wins of Zotac did he have? Like a lot. He was like over 50. It might have been a lot more, even. I'm sure it says on his, uh, his profile page on Twitch. Right, we continue. We're now going on to Blood Covenant. Cypher's a map up. I'm looking good. I want to check what's happening in the bracket. Guys, so Silent Sep beat Anessi 2-0. The winner of this match is going to go versus Silent Sep next. That is Le Excitant. Cypher Silent Sep semifinals is is hype. It could be some more drama there, actually. Because third third place, you still get 150 points. It's a lot. But it's sort of like... Cypher and CNZ need to make it... If Cypher and CNZ make it to the final, I reckon they're guaranteed to make top two. If one of them doesn't get to the final, the spice is on. But right now, CNZ semi-final is happening at the moment. If CNZ beats Buckster, he'll definitely win the semi-final. Because it's against two, uh, sorry to say, slightly lesser known individuals. So I'm very curious to see how that one's going to go. But Cypher versus Silent Set next is also going to be a big boy game. Yo, NBTI, thanks very much for the biddies, man. Hope you're enjoying the games. Thanks so much for the resub again today. Really, really appreciate it. Let's go over to uh, the slash, though, shall we? So, Inz is just camping out the lightning gun, saying, Cypher's gonna come for it at some point. Just what point? I don't know. He's there and he finally moves away. But you just got plasmid right there. He's going to take everything on the map. It's not a huge deal if I'm honest. Inz is still going to defend this area. And he's the one who takes basically a direct rocket straight away. He backs off into a rail. And Cypher is just going to gobble him the shit up. There we go. It's going to be 1-0 to Cypher. Inz had a very one-dimensional strategy at the moment. It was all in on the LG trap. And it did not plan out. And bang. Cypher just decided he wants to hit stuff now. It's, it's an up the bounce pad kind of moment for Cypher. He's just feeling it. He had to say, Am I, do I really want to do this? Am I sure I want to commit to this? Hell yeah, I want to commit to this. Oh. Mm, another one. Can you taste it? Mm, I can taste one more. Oh, not quite. Whoop. Rocket jump. No, come on, rocket jump. Let's go. Go crazy, Cypher. There's no real urgency for it because Mega's not up for ages. Come on, get in his face. All up in his grill. Oh, the lip of the, the pad denying him what was looking like a midi there. Oh, that rail's pretty tight. Oh, 
and knows exactly how much health he's got left. 5-0. In's barely looking as if he's got a chance at the moment. We've got Heavy in a second. They're going to rendezvous near bridge. Ooh, he's going to let him get onto this. This is a chance for Inns, but he has to hit everything. And he's not hitting enough. Oh my god. I'm surprised he calculated that he didn't need to turn his mouse anymore. He just went full vertical. Oh, the rail lamp is just gone. That's your last rail, mate. Ends is definitely bitten off more than he can chew. This could be all about the HMG from this distance. Close it up. Algae. Uh, it's another one. Like, Inns had a chance to ban Slash at some point. I'm not sure why you wouldn't do it. I know there's been moments in the, some weeks where Cypher's not looked as confident with this champion. But I really think it's the work that Cypher's been putting in over the last couple of weeks has been helping him a lot. Like... If you look at Cypher's shape now compared to week one, I, I really feel like we're starting to see him transform a little bit. I don't, I, I don't want to say it's the difference between day and night, but it's certainly noticeable. Oh my god, that rocket. Into that direct. And he's just calling it GG right there. We're five minutes in and it's done. It's like, yeah, I'm just getting annihilated here. He does call GG. But it's like, yeah, I don't want this beat down anymore. I accept my loss. I don't know if it is. I don't, I don't yet believe that, Sparty. I don't yet believe it. It's the difference between like early morning and, you know, late afternoon. But it's not the difference between day and night. Indeed, that was a wrecked right there. That was that was a, a formal wrecked ing. I think we're going to be able to jump straight into the next game, guys. I think Silent Step and Cipher is is coming up. By the way, C and Z did beat Buxter two zero. He's going to be going up versus either Bingo Lot or B 